this video, I'm going to be giving you the roadmap for studying for CISSP. I'll be giving you the exact resources to use, when to use them, what order, how to use them, and the benefits of each resource. So watch this if you want to pass CISSP. Just a quick note, I have another video where I talk about the exam, some of the prerequisites, the IOC squared, the CAT testing methodology, etc. So if you want more information, watch that. It'll be linked in the description. However, in this video, I will just be talking about the resources and give you a study roadmap. So to begin with, bird's eye view, you need a high level understanding of what is within the content before you start to study. It's so much better to get a insight into all the chapters, all the domains, all the areas you will be looking into before studying. Um, a lot of people just open the book, they start at page one and then they just kind of go through it slowly. I completely disagree. I think that's a very bad approach. You need to map all the domains out within your head before you start to dive in deep to the details of those areas. So to do this, I suggest watching destination certifications videos they have these mind map review videos i think it's about 27 of them and they're really good just to get that bird's eye view it's definitely not everything you're going to need to pass the exam however it's amazing insight into what's coming up some of the terminology they do explain things so you will start to learn some things in some areas so definitely start here watch all the videos don't take notes to start with just map it out within your head make sure you're paying full attention while you're watching the videos don't just put it on in the background while you're doing something else you need to be watching it properly once you've done that you need to kind of dive a little bit lower so let's say the certification videos are up here you need to kind of go there with sunflower notes now sunflower notes are an amazing resource you're going to reference throughout your study but at this stage it's just about reading through them don't worry about understanding everything you're going to see but i guess just getting familiar with some of the terms and just seeing them again after the mind map videos and again later on when you look in your books you'll already kind of be vaguely familiar with these terms and what stage they map to again don't take notes just read through all the notes and take time while you're doing it and lastly on the bird's eye view stage is assist mentality so this is where you need to understand the kind of perspective and approach for your study you need to understand how you will be answering the questions how the content will relate to what you're studying so to do this i would watch kelly handerhand's video um, titled why you will pass the ciss and also watch some of prab Nair's videos on ciss mentality watching kelly handerhand's video and prab Nair's videos will give you some insight into some of the questions how they should be approached how you will be answering them what to look out for what words are crucial and change the meaning of the questions so yes do this early on just to kind of finish off the bird's eye view so now you have an understanding of what domains are coming up some of the details within the domain and also the mentality approaching each domain now you can actually begin to study now you need to decide on which book to buy i recommend the cybex 9th edition which i will link in the description it is the official study guide however there are other the CBK etc just pick a book and stick with it don't worry too much about this step you just need to pick either the CBK the study guide I know there are some others I have heard they are quite good from other people who have passed the CISSP feel free to try them out but I think it's important not to pick two three four different books because you'll just kind of confuse yourself they basically say the same thing in different words why I recommend the Cybex 9th edition I think it's easy to read it's beginner friendly it's not like a technical or listed in bullet points it actually kind of gives you a bit of a story story and background on things so you get that kind of complete understanding another good reason for buying the book is that it has questions at the end of each chapter so you do get around 420 exam style questions testing and knowledge in each chapter so as you're reading through the chapters you need to be doing the questions at the very end split it up 21 chapters map to the eight domains there are also some questions on there that are a bit more lengthy and writing and are designed to give you a better understanding so feel free to do those as well i certainly did some of them but not all of them and also at this stage make sure you're noting what areas you're weak in what chapters you scored well in what chapters you scored badly in once you've read through the book this will take a while honestly it took me about six months probably can take you more or less time depending on how much you dedicate towards it what your experience is like let's say if you're a technical person you might fly through those chapters i struggled with them personally because i've got a governance risk and compliance background so i found concepts like a business continuity risk management policies etc very easy while some people struggle with all things and i found the technical concepts like identity and access management and network security 
and architecture quite difficult, so I certainly had to pay those more attention. But reading through the book will give you an idea of what you're weak in, what you're strong in. If it's all new to you, you'll definitely take a while, and that's fine. It's about the journey, and honestly, at this stage, you will learn so much. And even if you decide not to take the exam after reading the whole book and understanding and taking notes, etc., will make you a better cybersecurity professional anyway. I certainly became so much better before I even passed the exam. And I remember thinking, even if I don't pass, I've benefited so much from learning here. So it's not essential to take the exam. It's essential to kind of think about everything you're learning, understand it, internalize it, kind of see where it applies and also relate domains to each other. Because even though the domains and the chapters might be separate, there's a lot of crossover and things relate. So for example, risk management would be present throughout everything. And so you can always apply the risk management concepts to things like network security, access management, incident response, etc, etc. Next step, buy the official practice questions book. Now this book has a huge amount of questions. I think it's like over a thousand and they're split into different domains. So you've got 800 odd questions on each domain. And then it also comes with four practice tests. Now I would suggest starting with one practice test to begin with and then go into all of the eight different domains and doing them one by one. Again, you need to make sure you're noting what areas you're scoring badly in, what areas you're scoring well in. Once you've finished the official practice tests and questions, now it's time to go back to your study guide. Do a reread of those weak areas. If you're weak overall, it might be worth reading the whole book again. I certainly had about three domains I had to kind of go into. I think it was the asset management, the networking and access management domains. I had to kind of reread and just take notes. Now it's important at this stage the areas that you are struggling in do some further study on youtube or google use diagrams visualizations drawings extra notes and sometimes just sitting back and really thinking about the concept just for like five or ten minutes closing your eyes and picturing something just as a quick example i remember when i was learning about edge computing and fog computing essentially i kind of just laid back closed my eyes and just thought about like a fog for fog computing I think about different notes processing data and then feeding that back to a central area um, for edge computing I'd be I'd be thinking about the same fog but except you've got computers closer to you and being able to process faster than stuff that's further away and just visualizing that in my head really kind of made that stick I think that's an important thing to do with the CISSP it's not necessarily just reading and taking notes but you actually have to sit back and think about what you're learning and really understand and visualize it and especially when you're relating it to other things that kind of cross domain relationships and how that works very important to sit back think about stuff the goal here through the practice questions and through doing everything is you want to be achieving an 80 to 90 percent pass rate if you've done this stage properly you will be at that level if you're scoring really badly in the domain go back study again once you hit that 80 or 90 percent in the practice exams then you can move on to the next step now at this stage we're going to go back to the bird's eye view and you're going to watch the destination certification videos all over again you're going to reread the sunflower notes and you're also going to watch some more prabnaya repeat the kelly hand, hand video it's important at this stage you should be taking notes you need to take notes on the mentality you need to take notes on the prabnaya videos how he answers questions what his approach is how he thinks about things and you need to make sure you understand that so you can approach the exam in the same way now what i would also do at this stage is read the destination cissp book i certainly bought it at this stage purchase it and you read through that book bedtime reading while you're doing the next step now the next step is study notes and theory by luke ahmed now there's 875 questions and he also has videos and other resources videos are good to watch watch them to just kind of understand stuff but main thing you want to be doing here is these 875 questions these questions are harder than the actual exam in my opinion i got 50 percent 40 percent i literally failed every single kind of test that i took through study notes and theory platform but i passed the real exam literally kind of a week later so it just shows a level of difficulty these questions will over prepare you for the exam if done correctly there's a lot of content within the questions the questions are thick 
with paragraphs of context and preparing you for the actual question and then it asks a question and only some of that information is relevant you then have to piece together what is and isn't relevant to answer the question and each answer has so much information on why it was right why it was wrong how if one word changed the other one would have been correct etc this will definitely help you prepare for the exam it's frustrating because you'll get a lot wrong but that doesn't mean you're not ready for the exam important thing here is to learn from these questions and really understand why the answers are correct and why the other answers are wrong. Furthermore, I think Luke Ahmed, the creator of Study Notes and Theory, is a network security engineer, so he's really, really good at the technical concepts and breaking them down in ways you can understand. So yeah, those videos are really good for that, breaking down the technical networking concepts. After you've done the Study Notes and Theory and you've also read the Destination Sys book, you should be nearly ready for the exam. But what I would say is at this stage, your confidence is probably knocked by study notes and theory because you've got so many questions wrong so i would suggest get some apps on your phone best thing to do is just go onto your app store search for sisp download some apps sign up for a free trial and cancel it spend the week on the free trial that's kind of what i did i just signed up for a trial did all the questions cancelled it you'll notice that when you go back to questions after study notes and theory everything is so easy it's just a walk in the park but you need to do this to build your confidence back up because you need to see some 80-90% scores to give you that confidence before the exam. Okay, so now you've done all that, you should be ready for the exam. So what I would do is make sure you get some good sleep on the nights leading up to your exam on the night before. You're not going to sleep too well, so make sure that you've got a nice full night's sleep. You're going to be a bit anxious on the actual day, so you might not sleep too well. It's fine. But when you wake up, make sure you have a good breakfast, you're hydrated, etc. All the things that you should be doing. And go for a walk, make sure you get some sunlight, wake up properly before sitting the exam and definitely take some practice questions. You should save some practice questions for exam day, about 50 to 100 or so. Not the study notes and theory, the other ones are a bit easier just to warm your brain up. But a lot of people fail because they've gone into the exam and it just takes about 15, 20, 30 questions to warm up. The best thing to do is just take some exams beforehand so you're sharp, you're ready, your mind's focused and you're already question answering mentality. Now doing all these steps should sufficiently prepare you for the exam. If follow exactly what I said, I know you're going to pass. If I can do it, you can do it too. Just keep your head down. But what I will say is do not underestimate the CISSP exam. I had many 4am, 3am, 5am mornings and many late nights studying for it. It was a big time commitment. You know, I lost time out with friends, family, gym, other activities you might want to do. So if you do want to take the exam, definitely have conversations with people around you. Make sure you've got that good support structure to help you study and good luck. I know you're going to do it so if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe and i hope you've enjoyed this deep dive i've also written a blog just outlining these steps and if you want to watch my other video on cissp uh, click here